Since its unveiling in early May 2025, the Volonaut airbike has captured imaginations by translating science fiction lore into a functional prototype. Developed by Polish startup Volonaut under the stewardship of inventor Tomasz Patan, renowned for the Jetson 1 Evtol, the airbike debuted flying sorties through forested valleys and open ridgelines, showcasing stable hover and dynamic gliding capabilities. Unlike previous hoverbike concepts reliant on cage-enclosed ducted fans, the airbike dispenses with visible propellers altogether, presenting a streamlined silhouette that echoes the sport motorcycles of today while delivering unprecedented vertical takeoff and landing functionality. This review traces the technological underpinnings, performance metrics, ergonomic design, safety considerations, market positioning, and pricing outlook for the airbike offering an in-depth portrait of this groundbreaking air vehicle. Design and materials. Open air minimalism. The air bike's most striking visual hallmark is its absence of a traditional frame or overhead canopy. Riders assume a forward-leaning posture, similar to high-performance motorcycles, with nothing but air beneath and around them. This open-air configuration not only enhances situational awareness through a full 360-degree field of view, but also eliminates structural bulk, reducing drag and facilitating navigation through constricted corridors and wooded areas. Red rear light assemblies mounted on the tail section serve as brake indicators, a nod to road-legal visual conventions, though regulatory certification for aerial operation remains pending. Advanced Composite Construction Weight reduction is central to the airbike's performance envelope. The frame, stand supports, and aerodynamic fairings combine advanced carbon fiber laminates with bespoke 3D printed thermoplastics. This hybrid construction yields a total mass roughly one-seventh that of a comparably sized road motorcycle, significantly boosting thrust to weight ratio and flight efficiency. Sections exposed to high thermal loads, such as the jet nozzles and leading edge panels, utilize heat-resistant carbon ceramic composites, while non-structural shrouds leverage lighter, flexible polymers for impact absorption during landings. Ergonomics and Rider Interface Volonaut's design ethos centers around intuitive control. The handlebar assembly integrates throttle, tilt, and yaw inputs, with haptic feedback relayed through custom-engineered grips. A full-color digital display nestled between the bars provides real-time speed, altitude, battery status, and flight computer diagnostics. Despite the absence of a windscreen, riders benefit from a low center of gravity and sculpted knee and shin supports that clamp around the vehicle's midsection, enhancing stability during high G-turns and sudden directional shifts. Propulsion and Performance Jet Propulsion System At the heart of the airbike is a compact jet propulsion unit, details of which remain proprietary. Observers note the absence of spinning rotors. Instead, a pair of convergent-divergent thrusters channel high-velocity exhaust to generate both lift and thrust. This arrangement minimizes mechanical complexity and obviates the need for large, exposed blades. A distinct advantage in safety and urban operation. Maximum thrust output has been rated to sustain speeds up to 124 miles per hour, with swift acceleration profiles mirroring sport bike dynamics. Flight Computer and Stabilization Volonaut's proprietary flight computer constantly processes inertial measurement data, modulating thrust vectoring to maintain stable hover and compensate for gusts up to 25 km per hour. Built-in auto-hover functionality allows the vehicle to lock position at pre-selected altitudes within a 1.5 meters envelope, simplifying takeoff and landing sequences for novice pilots. The stabilization suite utilizes redundant sensors and fail-safe algorithms to detect anomalies, automatically rebalancing thrust across the two nozzles to prevent drift and ensure controlled landings, even under single thruster contingency modes. Speed and Endurance Top-end trials recorded a stable cruise at 180 km per hour, with sprint bursts reaching the 200 km per hour mark in under 10 seconds. Energy density constraints limit continuous flight duration to approximately 20 minutes under typical operating loads. 
Ground-based recharging utilizes a high-power docking station capable of replenishing 80% battery capacity in 30 minutes. Battery swap options are under development to reduce turnaround times for commercial applications. Flight and control systems, user controls and feedback. User inputs, throttle actuation, roll, pitch, and yaw are captured through force sensing grips and a pivoting foot plate assembly. Subtle vibrations cue critical flight data. Low battery warnings, near stall conditions, and stabilization lock confirmations. The central display automatically adjusts brightness to account for ambient light, ensuring legibility across dazzling midday flights and low light dusk operations. Safety features. The airbike incorporates multiple safety redundancies. Redundant flight computers operate in parallel, cross-checking sensor outputs to isolate faults. In the event of a propulsion anomaly, the system enacts a soft landing protocol by throttling back to minimal hover thrust, engaging sculpted side stands beneath the frame to cradle the vehicle upon touchdown. Although no ballistic parachute system is installed due to weight constraints, a modular attachment point exists should future certification require such hardware. Regulatory and Operational Considerations Certification Pathway As a novel VTOL platform, the airbike faces an evolving regulatory landscape. Volonaut is reportedly engaging with European and US aviation authorities to classify the vehicle under new personal air mobility guidelines. Pilot training requirements, airspace integration, and noise abatement criteria remain areas of active negotiation, with Volonaut aiming for recreational category approval by late 2026. Environmental impact. Zero emission operation relies on electric battery-powered jet turbines. However, noise profiles during hover can peak at 85 decibels at 10 meters, necessitating urban use restrictions. Battery life cycle assessments highlight the airbike's overall carbon footprint may be lower than mid-range EVTOL aircraft, given its limited size and lightweight construction. Market position and comparisons. Competitive landscape. The airbike enters a burgeoning market alongside electric flying motorcycles, such as the Hoversurf S3X and X Turismo. Its distinguishing features, absence of exposed rotors, open air riding posture, and jet driven propulsion, contrast with rotorcraft reliance seen in competitor designs. Compared to the Jetson 1, the airbike swaps enclosed seating for a more visceral rider experience at the cost of shorter flight time and increased pilot skill requirements. Potential use cases. Beyond recreational flights and promotional stunts, the airbike could find niches in search and rescue, environmental monitoring, and rapid response inspection of remote infrastructure. Its compact footprint suggests potential for vertiport operations in urban air mobility networks where ground vehicles struggle to traverse congested terrain. Pricing and availability. Volonaut has not formally published retail pricing or pre-order timelines. Industry analysts estimate that initial airbike units will command a price comparable to the Jetson 1, approximately 92,000 US dollars, factoring in similar development costs, battery systems, and proprietary flight computer hardware. Given the prototype stage and regulatory milestones remaining, commercial deliveries are anticipated to commence in late 2026 should certification proceed without major delays. Conclusion the Volonaut Airbike represents a compelling advance in personal air mobility, merging cutting-edge jet propulsion, carbon composite engineering, and intuitive flight computing into an evocative open-air platform. With top speeds matching highway legal superbikes, hover stability rivaling advanced EVTOLs, and an experiential one-with-the-wind rider interface, the Airbike charts an aspirational course for future recreational and professional flight applications. While challenges remain, namely flight endurance, certification hurdles, and premium pricing, the airbike's successful prototype flights mark a milestone in making science fiction an accessible reality. Continuous development, regulatory alignment, and broader pilot training frameworks will determine whether the airbike transitions from demonstration marvel to transformative mobility solution.